open with Mike Singer. Hey, Michael, they outscored you guys 60 to 36 in the second half. What did you tell the guys after today's game? Um, that we have to be better. They turned up the heat, got into us. Uh, they switched everything and uh, we allowed that to kill our offensive flow. Then we started complaining and whining, not getting back, uh, not competing. Uh, give them credit. I mean, 31 to 8 in the fourth quarter. Uh, obviously, I think it all started, though. I think we're up 14 towards the end of the third quarter, Mike. And I think we had probably four straight turnovers. And uh, that just kind of ignited them. Then the fourth quarter, we're just never able to, uh, to get anything going on either end of the floor. And uh, that's unfortunate because we haven't played like that in a long time. Um, so the best thing about the NBA, we get on a plane this afternoon, go to Golden State and, uh, and try to right the ship and, uh, and get back to playing at a much higher level than we played today. Ryan Blackburn. Hello. Coach, sorry, Bob. You said after last game that you were pretty concerned and, and you always were concerned at, even during wins, that, like during this win streak. Was this something that you could foresee, this sort of letdown? And, and, and if so, how do you bounce back from it and go forward with the process well? Uh, could not foresee a 31 to 8 fourth quarter. Um, I could not envision us just completely imploding. Obviously, um, we struggled to make shots. I thought we had a lot of good looks that didn't go down. You know, Michael Porter has been playing at such a high level. You know, who expected Michael Porter to go one for 12 from three on really good looks for the most part. Um, you know, they did a good job of guarding Nicola. Um, and then our bench, you know, we got to get more from our bench. You know, if you look at the stat sheet, most of our bench was a, uh, a double digit plus minus, uh, they were negative. So uh, I didn't foresee this, but obviously, you know, you win games, you know, but you can see the turnovers or the paint defense, um, you know, things of that nature. But I didn't anticipate uh, a second half collapse like we had today. Bond temps. Hey, Mike, uh, you had mentioned the complaining. It looked like you took Nicole out there with about four and a half to go after he had been upset with the refs there for a minute. Uh, was that part of what or what led you to do that? And is that kind of an issue if you have the whole team kind of following the lead of their best player in that kind of a situation? No, well, it's, uh, you know, we're in the middle of six games in nine days. Uh, we play again tomorrow night. We weren't getting much traction. Uh, so it's, it's, you're worried about this game, but you're also thinking about, you know, uh, what's coming around the, the corner. Um, yeah, but, and, and regarding Nicola, you know, it's, he gets frustrated with the referees and what he perceives to be a lack of calls. And you understand that, but you know, that can never take a, you away from your duty as a basketball player. Um, so that's something that he, myself and all of us can definitely be better at, but the, the most of the decision was just getting him out. We're still down by 12 points at that time. Um, let's try something different. AG at the five, see if we can get an athletic big on the rim, four smalls. Obviously, uh, it didn't help. Nothing helped in that fourth quarter. Mark Kisla. Coach, you, you talked about the, the bench play today. To what extent at this point are you still uh, – Experimenting is the wrong word, but just working your way through how you want to allot bench minutes. Well, we're not whole, you know. I mean, like with Jamal Murray out, you know, that, that creates a, um, you know, a a change in your lineup and your rotation. Jamal is usually 36 minutes a night, you know, 20 points, four or five assists, you know, three, four rebounds. So without him, and Monte is still on a minute restriction. You're trying to figure things out on the fly. And uh, you know, I thought Faku uh, gave us good minutes, especially early. Uh, but as the game went on, uh, obviously that game just got away from all of us. Um, and then with the bigs, I think kids, the biggest thing is just trying to figure out the bigs. You know I mean? Like uh, we, we have three guys that are capable of helping us and playing. Uh, that's probably the only area where 
still trying to figure out what's going to be best for us moving forward. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, our bench unit tonight, you know, you can just go down the line. Uh, wasn't our best night and uh, we'll need to be better uh, tomorrow night in San Francisco. We got time for one more. We're going to end with Vinny Benedetto. Hey, Michael, we hadn't seen uh, much of Zeke recently. I guess what, what went into uh, him getting some first quarter minutes today? Well, as I mentioned time and time again, we're in the middle of six games and nine nights. Will Barton and Michael Porter are playing 36 minutes a night in that first quarter. Uh, Will Barton was playing well, and uh, he, he and Michael didn't come out till late in the first. Usually I get Will out earlier to bring him back, you know, but that's where Will's minutes really you know, get loaded on top of each other. Um, so just trying to introduce another healthy, fresh body into the mix. Uh, you know, I thought when, when the game was a game, not counting the last couple of minutes, but, you know, I thought Zeke went out there and did some good things for us. So uh, just trying to get another body so we're not wearing our guys down. I think we have 19 games to go, Vinny, and uh, we have a lot of guys that are playing heavy minutes. So just trying to alleviate some of that while keeping Zeke engaged and, you know, uh, when he was given a chance earlier in the season, you know, uh, I think Zeke went out and showed promise. And so anytime you can get him some quality minutes on the floor, uh, that's only going to help Zeke and us in the long run. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.